Welcome to another episode of From the Helm with Marine Max. I am your host, Lisa, and he is your other host, Kelly. Hello. And today we have a very special guest, Mr. Chris Willits, wholesale account mm -hmm. manager with the Yacht Group. And we're going to be talking about a really cool product today called Yacht Controller. So, I, Chris, welcome to the program. It's great to have you. Welcome, Chris. Lisa, Lisa and Kelly, thank you very much for having me. Excited <laughs> to talk about Yacht Controller. Oh, yeah. We are too. Uh and, and I have to say, like, uh, knowing what this product is going into this uh, and wanting to learn more, I just, I, I'm excited because this is something uh, that it, I've heard customers say, you know, this changes everything. And, uh, and I think uh, once the viewers kind of get, see some examples of this in action, uh, they're, they're going to think the same thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been a revolutionary product ever since we, uh, we launched on the market 17 years ago. Um, we've been constantly upgrading the equipment. We now have over 18,000 systems installed in the field on over 300 different boat brands. And we are a certified Marine Max vendor. So we have a great re relationship with Marine Max. We install yacht controllers on pretty much every different type of Marine Max uh, vessel. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a great piece of equipment. Customers love it. And it really adds a, uh, gets kind of totally rid of the stress of docking and, you know, mm -hmm. bringing the boat in by yourself and all that fun stuff. And as, as Chris alluded to there, uh, the product uh, we're going to focus a lot on today is the yacht controller. Um, but we're also going to learn that the yacht group is, is a, a whole lot more too. So um, Lisa, you excited? I am ecstatic, Kelly. <laughs> I think uh, once we all start getting back out uh, into the world, we could have Lisa like test it out too. You know, she's done joystick. Now I think uh, she's going to move to to some yacht controller too. Yes, let's uh, make that happen. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, they like to use me as a guinea pig because I haven't <laughs> tried a lot of these products. They're like, let's show the people how easy it is to use. Like, Lisa, <laughs> come here. Use this product real quick. I have no doubt about it. You'll knock it. You'll nail it on the first try. No doubt okay. about it. All right, Kelly, I know you have some experience with Yacht Controller. You've actually done video with them before. Yep. And it's a really good recap. So let's let's kick this off and just show show the people what it is we're talking about here. Yeah, so uh, before I play this, I just want to give everybody a quick background. So uh, we were down at the Galleon Rendezvous in Key West, and Yacht Controller was there as one of the sponsors. And uh, this was a great opportunity for our customers, our Galleon customers, uh, to see this thing in action and, and really see, you know, the differences it can make. So I'll play this video. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, a talking piece, but also it shows you it in action with our very own Kyle Pillsbury, who's right there for Marine Max Fort Myers. So shout out to Kyle Pillsbury. Uh, so let me get this playing here and uh, I'm going to have to hide myself and then we'll, we'll check it out. From Yacht Controller, I'm here on this 640 Flybridge Galleon. We're here at the Marine Max Galleon Rendezvous in sunny Key West, Florida. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our wireless controllers. We have our dual band and wireless joystick controls, both of which are compatible with any straight shaft configuration and IPS propulsion as well, to give you control of your engines, your thruster, and your anchor windlass be a complete digital plug and play interface communication protocol by CAN bus, allowing us to add the yacht controller as an additional station on board the vessel. The product is designed to allow a boater to walk away from the vessel with complete control in the palm of their hands, eliminating blind spots, putting you at ease to be able to control a boat of this size. I want to thank you for the opportunity. Please visit us at www.yachtcontroller.com. Thank you. All right, cool stuff. And uh, and it shows, uh, you know, just what a, a, a difference maker that that, that could be um, uh, for somebody that's just out for a day on the water, um, you know, getting back in, in that situation. The It was a little choppy out there that day. The winds were, you know, there was a current going through. I mean, how, do, how does the yacht controller um, change the, the industry or change the game for a yacht? Kelly, absolutely. Just what you said there, it's a complete game changer. Having the ability to leave the helm station and now eliminate any blind spots you may have by walking aft, walking to your aft quarter, or even your swim platform, seeing everything in real time without having somebody to relay you that information saying, hey, maybe you have five feet, three feet, two feet, stop, stop, stop. There's no more of that. There's no more anxiety. There's no more stress. Now you have the physical capability to be anywhere on board the boat in full control of your engines, your thrusters, and your anchor windlass to be able to confidently in the real 
key word there is effortlessly dock that boat without any assistance and single hand the boat completely by yourself. And to dumb it down a little bit for the people that don't, even, you know, they kind of saw what it was sort of, they, they kind of hear us talking about what is it? I mean, from, from a, from foundational aspect, what is the yacht controller uh, in essence? Sure. So the Yacht Controller is a wireless remote control that ties into your existing electronic engine and thruster controls, which in turn acts as an additional helm station. So in lieu of, say, adding a stern station or a wing station on a larger motor yacht, now you can have a wireless remote control that has a lanyard that you can wear around your neck. Actually, it looks just like this. And you wear this lanyard around your neck, which allows for hands-free operation. So now you can be anywhere around the vessel controlling your engines, your thrusters, and also your anchor windlass without having to worry about running back to the helm or having anybody tell you how much space you have between you and the dock. That's awesome. Yeah. That is so awesome. The, what really separates also the yacht controller from really any other product on the market is that we have specific interfaces developed for each different control manufacturer. So that when you're using the yacht controller system, that engine control print manufacturer is recognizing us as an additional helm station, the same way it would with an additional wing station or a bridge station. That way, we're not bypassing any OEM certifications, manufacturer warranties, mm -hmm. anything like that. It's all plug and play and, um, and allowed by the manufacturer. Wow. So what what... The main components of the yacht controller system are you have the wireless remote control and mm -hmm. then you have a receiver, which is essentially kind of like the brain box, which is mounted at the helm station. Um, and that allows for wireless communication between both of those systems. And our system runs off what's called a dual band system, which mm -hmm. is two different frequencies. If you see here on the remote, you can see the frequency button here. There's two different frequencies that constantly cycle every sixth of a second back and forth wow. to ensure connectivity and safety redundancy. That way, even if on, you know, like a large motor yacht, like say a Galleon, an Ocean Alexander or an Azimut, mm -hmm. you have a lot of electromagnetic interference, electromagnetic interference coming off of those vessels with Wi-Fi, with Bluetooth, with all that kind of stuff. So to add that secondary signal, that added redundancy of the secondary signal ensures connectivity and compatibility from anywhere on board a vessel. And wow. I'm sure that that's, that's a big question for people is, you know, what's my, what's my backup? What's, uh, you know, that's great if it's working, if something for whatever reason I need to, you know, redundancy is key in a situation like this, correct? Absolutely, absolutely, very key. And, and that's why we developed the dual band system back in 2010. Uh, to add that additional uh, radio frequency signal and ensure, you know, like I said, ensure that connectivity. In addition to that, we're, you know, we are constantly upgrading the equipment and, um, and uh, doing software upgrades, product upgrades. We're now on our 11th generation of the app controller. Uh, like wow. I said, we've been in business for 17 years and uh, we actually have 18,000 fully operational systems working in the field. Um, so it's, it's one of those things, you know, we're always upgrading the equipment, always kind of on the cutting edge to make sure that, you know, obviously uh, a product like ours is uh, as safe as it can be. Because when you're talking about protecting an investment like a large motor yacht, like a Galleon, Ocean Alexander, Azimut, whatever type of vessel you may have, you want the best of the best. And especially when it comes to mm -hmm. remote control, the yacht controller has proved year after year it is the best of the best for sure. So it makes me think uh, you, you've been around for a while. What have you seen change uh, with the yacht controller throughout the years? Like where did it, what was the beginning of this technology? Was it like <laughs> wired and uh, you know, yeah. a big cord and, and what have you seen change? <laughs> So no, they actually, the beginning of the technology, uh, it was invented um, by an Italian gentleman um, who actually had a, an azimuth, believe it or not, that was his vessel. And um, he was um, just upset at the fact that he had to uh, um, dock his boat with this tethered controller. And he thought <laughs> yep. that, uh, uh, you know, that was sort of antiquated. Even back in 2001, he was like, look, we need to have a wireless remote control. So he went on his own and developed a receiver and a uh, totally a wireless transmitter by himself 
in his uh, in his essentially in his garage, so to speak, and uh, developed the remote control. And then obviously over the years, tested it, you know, created a business. And now we've been selling them uh, commercially here in the United States since 2003. Um, so the first iteration of the Yacht Controller system um, was pretty rudimentary. Uh, you know, it had spring lever toggles and things like that. It's not mm -hmm. nearly as technologically advanced as it is now. Um, but it just kind of goes to show, uh, if you look at, you go to our company, um, you go to our webpage, there's a, um, there's a link on there under the technology tab that says a proven system. Mm -hmm. And you can see kind of the lineage of the Yacht Controller remotes over time. Um, if you if you click on that page, you can see kind of the evolution. Oh, so there we speak, go. There you go. The Yacht Controller. And it shows you that that's his first one right there on the right with the red buttons back in 1998. And it's uh, it's about the size of an iPad, you know. It's pretty big. Yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, but you know, obviously, he scaled it down over time, over time. And um, now we have um, in 20, uh, I believe in, in 2017, we launched uh, the IPS system. So mm -hmm. we are, you know, we're fully compatible with every different type of electronic control package. We actually have signed partnerships with ZF Marine, where they uh, develop the Yacht Controller interface for us in-house and in turn sell it as their Imperium package. Uh, we also have partnerships with Volvo. So we have the ability to control the Volvo IPS pod drives and mimic the existing Volvo joystick from the helm station. Um, that is that kind of the remote down at the bottom there, which is the, the wireless joystick. Yep. Um, so to answer your question about kind of the uh, the trends in the industry and, and what Yacht Controller has done to keep up with them, uh, we are definitely on the forefront of the cutting edge of, of all the trends. Um, we launched the joystick control system in 2012 to offer customers a fixed helm uh, joystick package in addition to their wireless system. So if they wanted to have kind of the best of both worlds, they can have a helm station, um, excuse me, a helm station where they can use the boat uh, and incorporate all of the features, the engines and the thrusters into the joystick. And then when they get around the marina, they can now leave the helm with the wireless and dock the boat by themselves and not have to worry about anybody else helping them out. So uh, it's it's been, a, it's been a great ride. I've been with the company for seven years myself yeah. um, and I've seen it grow exponentially in that time. And um, it's been really exciting and really fun. No, that's, that's excellent. And I mean, what kind, obviously larger yachts, you you can see the benefits there, they're kind of obvious, yes. uh, but what other types of boats have you seen um, people ask to have the yacht controller added into? Yeah, so our bread and butter, 100% um, is the larger motor yachts. Obviously the larger yachts where from the upper helm or from the lower helm, you have sightline issues to your aft quarter or just to anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, with uh, the recent surge in somewhat uh, mid-level to larger yachts with outboards, um, we're seeing a lot of um, inquiries for vessels with outboard boats um, looking for yacht controller and looking for wireless remote controls. Um, yeah, just because it seems as if um, uh, some customers cho are choosing now to go uh, on a larger vessel with outboards. So that's kind of a trend we're seeing. And, and by that, you mean like a center consoles, like 40, 50 foot center consoles? Exactly, exactly. So a customer in lieu of, say, buying a, uh, say, a 50 foot Viking or something like that, they might want to, say, get a, a 40 or a 45 foot center console and they can run to the Bahamas and do all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff back and forth and, and get there a little bit quicker. Uh, and then they also want to have the wireless control, you know, around the dock and, you know, when they're fishing and setting a drift mm -hmm. and things like that. So, so it, it's um, a lot of customers, once they have a yacht controller on their first boat, uh, nine <laughs> times out of 10, they're going to get it on their next boat. It's just one of those things, you know, it's kind of like having a, you know, a, 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 like a backup camera on your car. Yes, or I was something, just going to say that. You know, something like that. You never want to go back. Exactly. You, you don't know how good it is until you have it. And then once you have it, you can't live without it. So it's one <laughs> of those things for sure. You know, well, I was I, always, I was one of those people that and before the, the backup cameras, I'm like, I'm never, I never need that. I can always turn. I'm good. Right. And then right. sure enough, I get my first car with a backup camera and I never <laughs> looked back since, you know, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Same thing with the eye control. Yeah. Well, and I have to imagine uh, it, it helps with the resale value of a boat to have this additional technology added as an option. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it definitely makes the boat more attractive for sure. If you're looking at two vessels of the, the same year, comparable price, comparable equipment, and one has a yacht controller, one doesn't, more oftentimes than not, the one with the yacht controller is going to sell much mm -hmm. more for sure. And is this something uh, that uh, customers generally, uh, does this come with with a boat generally, or is it something where it's usually they, they put on after the, the customers per made purchase of the boat? Uh, it, it all depends. It really depends. Oftentimes, the yacht controller is included at the time of the purchase uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, customers are going from boat to boat, especially if they've had a yacht controller before. They'll make sure to tell their their broker or their project manager, uh, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I, I need to make sure I have a yacht controller uh, installed in this build. Uh, other times, if customers are buying brokerage vessels, uh, you know, they're buying a used boat and they're going from boat to boat. Um, uh, yes, the broker will either call me directly or we have, um, you know, obviously accounts with different, uh, companies around the country, uh, to facilitate that. But yes, uh, we do equip at the factory and, uh, aftermarket both. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Is it, is it standard anywhere yet? Is this a standard option? Um, it's not necessarily standards. Uh, a lot of brands do like to push it as a standard mm -hmm. option. Um, obviously, they don't want to pigeonhole any sort of any customer into getting anything they don't want, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because there are so many different options on large yachts and, and vessels. And obviously, when you're you're when you're designing a boat, it's kind of like a house. You know, it's very very custom. So um, it's it's not necessarily. I wouldn't say that it. You know brands are you know pushing it on or like making it a mandate uh, but they definitely 100 percent recommend it and uh and uh, speak to its value absolutely excellent all right well i know that uh the yacht group was a prime sponsor at the galleon rendezvous we've seen a, a video before so you mm -hmm. want to um play our second video and then maybe get into uh additional product offered by the yacht group yeah, so I'll play a little bit uh, of that. It's a quite a long video, but you can definitely check it out on uh, on YouTube. And just wanted to also, we've been showing some stuff, uh, and I'll bring it in again. Um, we've been showing some stuff from their website. This is actually yachtcontroller.com, uh, which is part of theyachtgroup.com. You can see it there in the bottom right hand corner. But if you want to learn more about uh, the yacht control, the yacht controller. Um, or the yacht group, uh, definitely check those websites out and, and, and we will get into more than just yacht control because, uh, as you can see from behind Chris, I mean, they do a whole lot more than just, uh, mm -hmm. just this really awesome technology, but let me hide, get that video. Uh, we'll play a little bit and then we'll chat a little bit more afterwards. So, all right. He's the man behind the curtain making things move. <laughs> all right. Hi, I'm Guy with Marine Max St. Pete, Yacht Service Center. This is Jim Stroh, owner and captain of this vessel. Good morning, Guy. Good morning. We're here to demonstrate the ease of use of the yacht controller, which in this application will control your, both of your engines, forward and back, as well as bow thruster and stern thruster. Now, this piece of equipment is really a peace of mind when it comes to docking, approaching the dock, and relieving some of the stress associated with that. This unit will work all around the vessel, so you can actually get your bow line from the bow, or actually jump on the dock, get your line tied up, and like I said, makes it really, really easy. We're gonna break this demonstration up into a couple different frames today. First of all, we're gonna show you the undocking, and then we're gonna bring the boat back in from several different angles, all with the same idea of touching the dock as gently as we can, lining it up in position with the cleats so the lines are ready to go. Lastly, I'm gonna take the vessel into a very tight spot, something I would never do in a practical sense and leave my vessel there, but you're gonna see I'm gonna be backing into a marina that's really designed for a 30-foot vessel. This is almost a 60-foot vessel, and I'm gonna put it in there straight down the pipes as if there was nothing in my way at all. Depending on your experience, docking your vessel may be a stressful or unstressful situation. Regardless, the yacht controller takes a lot of the stress out of it. Why is that? Because simply you're at the helm and you're at the dock at the same time. It's like being in two places. Therefore, to grab a line, you may be a little bit short. Simply pressing the gear up just a little bit, nudge the vessel up, 
puts you in position to put that line on the cleat and move along down the docking process as I'm about to show you. Well, you guys can check out that whole video on uh, on, on YouTube, uh, but that that kind of shows off some of this technology, and it's a bit dated. But obviously, I mean that that's the technology in action um, mm -hmm. from from a user. Lisa, did you also notice what what city that was from too? That, that Safety. Boat? Safety Harbor. Oh, was the boat was from Safety Harbor? Didn't it, uh, he say he was from St. Pete? I, I noticed at the very Safety beginning. On the, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, hey, man, they might be in Safety Harbor Marina right there too, but yeah. very cool. Yeah, that Lisa, was the St. Pete store. Yep. Yep. And you could definitely oh. see how easy it is. It's mm -hmm. like playing a video game. It's, it's <laughs> seriously, yeah. I mean, if you seriously. need to dumb it down even further, if it's that hand eye coordination and just manipulating uh, the your boat to squeeze into tiny spaces, which is. Mm -hmm you know, a lot of the reason people fear docking is, you know, running into something, hitting something, but if you can control it like that, I mean, what a great product. Absolutely. And, and you can tell in that video, there wasn't uh, too much wind or current there, but uh, the whole idea behind the yacht controller is to be able to play the wind and play the tide. So if you were to say, have a strong current off of your, you know, your bow or, or your stern, you can counteract that with your thruster or your engine just by kind of, you know, just like you would at the helm station, mm -hmm. giving that, you know, those incremental kind of bursts with each throttle and each thruster, but now it's completely miniaturized. So you have it in the palm of your hand and you're not looking down at the remote to see how much space you have. You're looking up to see, or excuse me, you're not looking down the remote to see which buttons you're hitting. You're looking up to see exactly how much space you have between you and the dock or you and the finger pier. And it just makes for a much more user-friendly and stress-free experience. Yeah, nice. and I think it's uh, it's kind of being at different locations in the boat. I mean, if you're at the helm, you're you're stuck in one spot. I mean, some of, some of the boats they also have the the helm out back, but it's also um, it just lets you if you are in those tight spots and you need to be in a certain spot just to make sure you're you know if uh, if there's nobody around, uh, it, it'll really help you out in a, a certain situations for sure. Absolutely. And we can, uh, and you can even hop off on the dock with the yacht controller. Now, obviously wow. we don't, uh, we don't like, uh, ask that you, you know, go running down the dock and, you know, maybe run the boat from the bar or anything like Make that. Make sure somebody's <laughs> on board still. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so th there is a, uh, there is a range on the yacht controller, which is over 300 feet. So, uh, you can be anywhere on board the boat and we like to say anywhere from 15 to 20 feet off the boat. Now, just for a common sense standpoint, obviously, we do ask that you have a line in hand as soon as you hop off on the dock to secure a cleat. That's just being common sense. Um, but, you know, from a number of different owner operators and captains and myself from using it, I have hopped off on the dock before because it's it, that's the whole reason behind it. You can hop mm -hmm. off on a finger pier. You can keep the boat pinned to the pier using your thrusters. Now you have the ability to, you know, uh, to work your fenders, to work your lines. You can run the spring, run the bow while keeping the boat in the same place. And it completely negates the need for any sort of, uh, like I said, any novice boat handlers, any sort of right. additional crew on board or, or things like that. And, and obviously when you're running the boat, you know, you want to be in charge. You want to, you know, tell everybody what's going on because at the end of the day, you're responsible for mm -hmm. whatever goes on in that vessel. And the yacht controller gives you total control over the boat, 100%. Very so those, those are some good best practices and operational best practices. Ha having a line in hand if you're actually hopping off the boat just in case something happens, that makes sense. Um, are there any other like best practices like you should be doing this while operating with the yacht controller that, that people should know about? Um, not necessarily. I mean, obviously, okay. we want we ask that you do wear the the lanyard, uh, so mm -hmm. you have the remote mm -hmm. around your neck to to so you don't drop it in the drink. Um, <laughs> but uh, but apart from that, no, not really. Um, the remote uh, it runs off of three AAA batteries, uh, of which that we ask that you swap out about once a boating season. Uh, and there is a visual indicator on the remote that lets you know when um, you need to swap out the batteries. And then on the uh, the 
the other remote we sell here, which is the, the wireless joystick, this has a, uh, a lithium ion charging station. Oh. Um, so you don't have to worry about swapping out batteries. You just put it back on the charging cradle and it'll charge back up. No problem. It's such a cool piece of tech. And, uh, yeah. I mean, just having it in the palm of your hand like that, you know, controlling a, uh, in, in what ranges, I mean, what's, you know, what, from what you've seen, what's the maximum amount of, uh, length in terms of boats that people get these on is it you know 150 feet something like that yeah so um the smallest boat we've equipped is a 22 footer cool <laughs> and the largest boat we've equipped is a 145 foot alloy yacht wow. um, and with boats of that size uh we have um in addition to the yacht controller dual band signal we have what's called a a V3 and a V4 extended range system, uh, of which we'll put uh, two antennas, two external antennas on top of the pilot house or the radar arch to kind of act like a satellite to in turn radiate the existing RF frequency to anywhere on board the vessel. So right. it's gonna go from the receiver to the uh, antennas on top of the pilot house and then in turn kind of shower down to in turn uh, cover the entire boat and ensure you have connectivity from anywhere on board. So yes, we have we are fully compatible on vessels up to 150 feet. Um, our kind of bread and butter sweet spot is say in between, I would say 50 and about 110. Um, mm -hmm. That's really kind of the owner operator sweet spot. The customers like to run the boats by themselves. Usually, uh, you know, you're getting north of that. You're going to have full ca full time captains and crews, and mm -hmm. and um, not to say that they don't love to use the yacht controller <laughs> itself, uh, but it's just kind of one of those things. Once you get a, a crew of six or seven people on board, and they all have you know headsets and trapezes, and they're all yep. wearing monkey suits, <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a different different game there. So yeah. Yeah, for well, sure. I mean, excellent. So all the viewers out there, if you are interested in more information or just kind of want to check out more about the Yacht Group, you can visit them at theyachtgroup.com. Kelly's been pulling up the website quite a bit here, but they're all over social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They have a YouTube channel with a ton of videos. Um, if you search the Yacht Group or Yacht Controller TV, you will find them all over the place. They've got a lot of great content. Um, so obviously the Yacht Controller is an amazing product. Um, if you are, you know, thinking about maybe jumping into something a little larger, that 50, 60, and you're holding back because you're afraid of that docking situation, here's your solution. You know, mm -hmm. um, there's no reason to say I, I, I'm I can't afraid dock. I can't dock it. I this is an, a, a phenomenal solution. Right. Um, where can somebody if they wanted to test this out? Exactly. Is there is ask. there an option for them to do that somewhere? Yes, yes, we have a demo boat here in in Coconut Grove in uh, in Miami, Florida. Uh, of which, if customers want to have a demo, uh, we do have a vessel available. And uh, oftentimes, um, certain you know uh, different dealers in uh, throughout the nation actually will have demo boats available as well. So, if customers are looking for a demo, we can make that happen and and facilitate any need they might have. Absolutely. What if uh, somebody wants to, uh, let's say they, they purchase it or they're very close to purchasing, do you guys do any training? Do you, you, you send somebody out that kind of knows the system very well to kind of get somebody acclimated to the system? Right, so um, each time a yacht controller system is installed, it comes complete with a full training and orientation period because it's very important that a customer understands exactly how to work mm -hmm. the equipment. Uh, just because obviously it is a wireless remote control and you're controlling sometimes north of a thousand horsepower engines. So it's very important they understand the entire take command procedure, which is a three-step process, which once you have it down, you can get it done in probably about two or three seconds. Uh, so taking command and relinquishing command of the yacht controller is very straightforward. Um, but yes, to answer your question, we do have a very thorough and detailed training and orientation period at the completion of every, every orientation, where we'll walk you through the entire take command procedure. We'll take the boat out with you into some open water and run a couple of maneuvers to ensure you know the response time and um, you know the, the 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 response time of the remote and how uh, obviously every yeah excuse me how obviously everything works. Um, and also just show you the best places on board the boat to, uh, to run the remote so you get a better mm -hmm. idea so that when you're coming into the slip for the first time, you're not, you know, 
kind of guessing of what's going yeah. on. You know exactly what you're going to do. You know exactly the response time, and you have a lot of confidence coming in. Wow, excellent. Okay, so I, I think that we've we've covered um, Yacht Controller. What is your second most popular product that the Yacht Group Group offers? Well, uh, through our Marine Max family, I would say our second most popular product is definitely our Yacht Graphics Illuminated Letters for Yachts, which is actually ah. this uh, product behind me here. Um, these letters behind me, these are stainless steel, uh, but we can do completely custom names. We can do anything you can think of. So as far as a, a frontage for the letters, you can, the, our most popular by far is the stainless steel, the polished stainless, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see back here. Uh, but we can do carbon fiber. We can do a lacquered acrylic. Uh, we can do a gold um, porcelain. <laughs> uh, I mean, you name it, we can do it. Uh, the the letters are made um, by um, a laser cut etching machine, of, so we can essentially mimic any sort of custom design, any name. Definitely the most popular is the stainless steel, but you can go through any type of frontage, whether it be a carbon fiber, uh, a lacquered acrylic, uh, really any sort of you know, gold. Anything you can think of, porcelain, you name it. Um, what separates our letters from really any other letter on the market is the fact that our the LEDs are individually placed. We're not using right. strip LEDs or you know things like that that you would find, say, in a Radio Shack or things like that. Uh, Every single LED is individually placed, predicated upon the height of the letter, the thickness of the font, and the width of the letter. That mm -hmm. way, if you look throughout the entire letter, each LED is placed so that there's no dead spots. So you have yep. warm, contiguous light throughout the entire letter, and you can't see the LEDs. All you see is just kind of a warm glow throughout the entire letter. In addition to that, uh, we can provide you with a single color illumination or with a multicolor, which is known as RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. <laughs> so you can, um, it's, it's really cool. I mean, you can do literally anything you can think of. Uh, awesome. You can have, we can have the, the letters scroll the entire color spectrum. Oh, um, man. They all come with a, uh, a wireless remote control that you can see here that has kind of a color wheel on it. This one is just all, you know, black and white, but there is one with a color wheel. So you can literally scroll the entire color spectrum. I'm sorry. Scroll the entire color spectrum on here and change the letters via the remote control. Um, you can link the color of the letters with any sort of underwater lights you may have. So say if you have, um, you know, a, a large, larger yacht with, you know, underwater lights throughout and you wanted to link the, say the transom name as well as the, the running board names and have everything be one RGB kind of rainbow going across, you can make that happen. Uh, we can link the letters with the music. So the letters will oh, actually be really? the music. Um, it's, it's, uh, the intricacies that are in there are kind of um, uh, endless. You can literally do anything you can think of and get as creative and as custom as you want. Oh, man. Well, so ju just when you th thought you were done decorating your boat, this <laughs> is where you come to the yacht group and say, all right, what's next? Absolutely. I, I would Absolutely. like my boat name to glow and dance to my music. <laughs> right. And in our, our showroom in Fort Lauderdale, we have a ton of recent projects that we've just done uh, that we actually have hanging up on the wall. And you can go and you can uh, see exactly what, what, you know, what kind of frontage you like, what colors you like, what remote you like, all that kind of stuff. You can test it out for yourself so that when you're building your next yacht or, or you know, you're buying your next brokerage yacht, you can really mm -hmm. customize it. Because that's exactly what these letters do. They make it your own. They make that mm -hmm. boat yours. Because, you know... Uh, a lot of people can go out and buy, you know, a certain boat, but to really personalize mm -hmm. it and make it your own and, you know, and to, to take pride and walk down the dock and say, Hey, that's my boat. That's what those letters do. Well, that's uh, I mean, in the boating world, especially in the yacht world, I mean, the name of your boat on the back is one of the calling cards and, and something that really differentiates you. And, and people remember it too. I mean, I, I, how many times, I mean, being in the boating industry, have you been to different marinas? across the in some places across the world and you see that same boat and the only reason you know that is because of the name of the boat on the back it's amazing it really is it, it's uh yeah. it's um yeah it totally totally makes the boat stand out and, and uh it makes it totally unique absolutely and one thing you did mention too um that i think is extremely important is uh not seeing the lights and that sounds very like oh that that doesn't really make sense but 
when you don't see the actual light, you just see the glow from the light. It makes it so much cleaner than if you see a bunch of dots, you know, all the way throughout the light, the light spectrum. Um, and, and, and just having it where it's just a, a glow, a subtle glow, as opposed to here are all the, the LEDs that you can actually see them. It, it makes a huge difference. Absolutely. The, the, the quality really shines through and you can, you can tell, uh, like you said, when you get closer to those, the bigger boats and you start to see the, the quality of the custom names, you know, uh, obviously which ones are, are the yacht graphics and which ones aren't. Um, just so you know, our, our letters are completely waterproof and they're actually submergible as well. So if you were to have say a, uh, uh, a transom that, uh, would be a hydraulic swim platform, it would fall down. Yep. Yep. Um, we do that all the time. So the letters can be submerged for wow. any given set amount of time. Again, they're all um, completely sealed. Uh, they have um, custom power supply, so they go off of your existing 12 or 24 volts. Um, they have very, very little voltage draw. They actually only draw five volts. Mm -hmm. And um, they're rated for 50,000 usable hours. So wow. a long time. There's a, there's a lot of benefits of LED technology. And, and like you said, you know, the, the, the length of lifespan on those things is crazy. And also the power draw is, is almost nothing. So, so we get, we get a lot of inquiries with the, with our yacht graphics um, bundled with our yacht controller, because oftentimes customers, you know, obviously they'll, they'll want to buy a new vessel and, they just go hand in hand. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody wants to have a, a new wireless remote control to give them, obviously, uh, the the highest amount of control they can have on board the boat, and then they want to really personalize the boat and, and make it their own. We can provide them both options and, and give them great pricing and keep everything kind of under one roof, so to speak, which is nice because uh, yeah. you know, we have have one guy to call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is is there a third item that people order with that package? You got yacht controller, you got the yacht graphics, the illuminated yacht graphics. What's that third thing that people are always getting? Yeah, so I would definitely like to bring up our um, our yacht visions um, department, which is our thermal imaging as well as our uh, searchlight division. So we sell a, a thermal imaging camera as well as a high definition daytime and low light nighttime camera which is essentially a direct competitor to a FLIR um, that can give you thermal imaging capability. Uh, you can be obviously running the boat at night at speed and see any sort of floating impediments um, ahead of time to be able to yeah. alter your course and, uh, you know, and, and, and see, um, see floating logs, containers, things like that. And then also when you're around the marina, uh, it's nice because there's so much ambient light given off of, um, you know, from lights around the marina and things like mm -hmm. that. So to have a, a really crisp and clear low light camera to be able to, to pick out the marina, the docks, you know, any sort of uh, uh, buoys or things like that around the marina is, is, very, uh, is very important. Also, we just signed a partnership with a company uh, called Carlisle and Finch, uh, which provides uh, searchlights and thermal imaging cameras for Navy, uh, for the Coast Guard, for all different types of uh, fire and service departments. They are all the searchlights that are on pretty much every different Coast Guard boat and Navy vessel out. So they are the complete top of the line. Mm -hmm. And we are now um, fully exclusive to sell the Carlisle and Finch lights and searchlights to the yachting market. Um, so we're very excited about that. We have a ton of interest in that. And on the, some of the larger boats, say, I would say, from about 60 feet on up, we're getting a ton of interest uh, for those because what we can do that a lot of other com companies can't is that with the Night Finder, which is the Carlisle and Finch 200 Night Finder camera, it incorporates a 15 million candela searchlight as well as a thermal imaging camera all in one. So wow. instead of having say two joysticks at the helm, you now have one uh, centralized area to control both your searchlight as well as your camera. And these are this is equipment used by the U.S. Naval, uh, U.S. Navy, and the Coast Guard. So it's it's the top of the line. It's it's you know it's a company that's been around for over 125 years. Yeah. So so that's what um, that's the newest product that we're really excited to uh, to launch and to include in our yacht controller and yacht graphics packages. And uh, we've been getting a lot of interest on it. And it's been a, it's been a great ride so far. Um, and, I, and again, I'm on uh, theyachtgroup.com, and I want to just check out. Uh, the Yacht Cam's website, which I think that there's a video here that we'll just, we can check that out real quick. Yeah, please do. That's great. All right.
Yeah, that's some that's some pretty cool stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. it's uh, you know, think of what twenty years ago. I mean, some of this technology was specific to the military and maybe uh, law enforcement or something. But now you can have that in your own private yacht. Absolutely, and that's uh, you know that's the technology that you know we're coming across today. And you know, obviously, wanted to uh, transition into the yachting market um, because it is. It totally, it makes a huge difference, obviously, when you're running the boat at night and you have that capability to see, obviously, everything that you wouldn't be able to see before. Um, And if you you look at that video, you can kind of see the difference between the thermal and the the low light camera. You can see the Mm -hmm. thermal is kind of fuzzy, a little bit of a fuzzy and kind of a kind of a little bit of a more opaque uh, image. And then when you switch the low light camera, you get a much more detailed image. So again, that's why I recommend the low light for around the marina and any sort of, um, you know, close quarters and then the thermal for when you're running at speed, you know, in, uh, say open water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the yacht you... group, they're, they're doing it all. Hey, eh, Lisa. Yeah. I mean, so many different <laughs> options of, uh, just bettering your yacht experience and not just yacht because some of these, uh, center console experience as well, if you're looking for that or outdoor. absolutely and wake boats as well. We have a new product called the easy drive for wake boats, uh, which is a, uh, a very compact stern thruster. Uh, of which we're getting a ton of interest on. It's um, it's super easy to install, and uh, I don't know if you've ever driven one of those smaller wake boats, but they are uh, kind of a, a very tough to to maneuver around the marina, even for the uh, the saltiest captain. So, adding uh, adding one of those stern thrusters on there definitely gives you a lot more control. And and um, yeah, we've been getting a lot of interest on it, and that's that's one of our newest products as well. It's called the Yacht Thruster Easy Drive. And um, they are fully compatible on every different type of wake boat manufacturer. And, um, and yeah. Well, for our Nautique, Taiga, exactly. uh, Mastercraft owners out there, I'm sure yeah. they'll, they'll definitely appreciate that. We have a lot of videos up on our website with uh, Mastercraft, Nautique, and Taiga vessels as well. So, yes, we're fully compatible. Cool. All right, so we've we've covered a lot of really cool products, and I know the website goes more in depth into just the more everything that the yacht group offers. If I were in the process of purchasing purchasing a new vessel, how do I go about connecting with you guys and ordering some of this stuff if I want it installed before I take delivery? Well, of course, you can always call us directly at, um, at, at the office, but I would recommend to go through your Marine Max broker and ask them about uh, the Yacht Group and the Yacht Controller system, and um, you know, and, and and ask for their uh, ask for their feedback. Uh, just because you know we have such a great relationship with Marine Max and and um, mm-hmm. and their brokerage community throughout the years that uh, they are very well versed in the yacht controller and all of our products and and uh, can definitely support any sort of customer coming and looking for any sort of yacht group product right that makes it so so easy to just go back to my dealer i'm already getting my service with them i've already worked with them and say hey you know what i'd like to add x can you help me do that and then we'll go right to you and it's a and they make it a completely seamless product our project. So when you get your mm-hmm. boat delivered for commissioning, the yacht controller will be on board. We'll have a yacht controller technician or a certified Marine Max technician on board the vessel to give you a on-site training and orientation. And then every single time you take the boat out, you'll use a yacht controller, no doubt about it. Wow. Excellent. Well, this is a, a good a good conversation to have for all of our uh, galleon sea ray, uh, larger sea ray azimut. Uh, basically any of our yacht owners out there, Ocean Alexander, um, that you could consider um, from a perspective of the yacht controller of the lights. I mean, if anybody wants to, if they're thinking about, hey, I want to, you know, get a new uh, name on the back of my boat, uh, put some, uh, any color under the sun, uh, (laughs) lights on it, or uh, some of this uh, navigational or or, uh, night vision systems. It's just so many options coming out of the yacht group. So it's really cool to see all this technology. Very cool. Uh, All right. So is there anything else that you'd like to cover today? Are you missing anything? I'm sure we're missing Uh, a ton. (laughs) Well, we do, we do have a lot of new products coming down the pipe for obviously for the 2021 and in the future. Um, I can't really tell you what we're working on right now, just because Mm -hmm. it is kind of uh, under, under the wrap, so to speak. Uh, But what we do have coming out will completely revolutionize the wireless remote control market hands down, no doubt about it. Wow. And, and again, it will 
really fortify yacht controller as the staple as the, of the uh, of the remote control uh, system in the yachting industry for sure. Wow, that's All right. exciting. So, yeah. So, yeah. W where can people? Uh, where should they be following you? in order to you know, keep tabs on you. So when you make this announcement, we're the first to know. Yeah, so uh, obviously you, know, you, you can go to our website for any sort of um, new product upgrades or, or uh, you know, new things coming down the pipe at yachtcontroller.com or you can see all of our products at uh, www.theyachtgroup, T-H-E, yachtgroup.com. Mm -hmm. uh, follow us on Instagram, Yacht Controller and The Yacht Group. And, uh, and also on Facebook. We have a lot of things uh, coming down the pipe on Facebook and, and, uh, and also we're a, a lot of new product upgrades on, on Instagram as well. So all three awesome. of those outlets are, are great, great places to see. All right. And of course, I'm sure, uh, you know, boat shows going forward. Uh, we'll definitely uh, see you at some of those events. Uh, you know, Galleon Rendezvous, we, were, we saw you guys not too long ago. So yep. stay tuned for all the upcoming uh, boat and yacht events. And, yeah, of course, all those places online. We uh, well, we were going to go to the Ocean Alexander Rendezvous on the in the West <laughs> Coast, but unfortunately, due to uh, some things that had happened, uh, that is not no longer going on. But uh, we'll look forward to next year. Of course, mm -hmm. um, we are usually a staple at that rendezvous, and of course, the Galleon Rendezvous uh, coming down the pipe, and hopefully, um, you know, cr fingers crossed, we have Flibs this year. So I'm yep. definitely looking forward to seeing everybody at Flibs and and uh, getting this thing going. For sure. Well, yeah, thank well, you for showing all these cool technologies. This is, this is, this is up my alley for sure, because I, I got my, art, my uh, LEDs back here that are RGB. And also, I mean, I, and it just gets me excited about LEDs in general, because it's, it really has changed the game of lighting, um, where you get a brighter light, and it's also cool to the touch. You know, the, it, it removes a lot of the risk factors. That I, I'm, I'm touching this LED light, like, I put my fingers on it and it's cool to the touch. And I'm sure a lot of the LEDs that you guys are working with is the same thing. Um, yeah. So it's just cool yeah. how they're changing the game. And we're actually incorporating uh, LEDs into our, our searchlights as well. So we do have a full on LED searchlight uh, in addition to the Xenon and the halogen searchlights that we sell. So yeah, just like you said, we're, you know, LEDs are really, really coming on strong. Absolutely. Awesome. Wow. Like yeah. Can't wait! Can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. I mean, so many cool things already, and the future is uh, the future is bright. No, too many puns today. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but, uh, well, yeah, come in, uh, come stop by the showroom and see us. We'd love to have you. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah. Yes. I, I, anybody interested in more information? Obviously, online, great place to start. The showroom in Fort Lauderdale, um, Coconut Grove. They've got the demo boat available, uh, and then all the information about about these locations can be found on the website. So if you're looking to connect with the Yacht Group, and and kind of get some more information about any of these products, or maybe have an idea you want to throw at them, they're mm -hmm. very uh, you know into moving forward with uh, marine electronics. So it's very very nice to have you, Chris. Thank you so much for your time. Um, anything else from you, Kelly? Any more tech questions from the tech guy? Uh, I'm just gonna go browse the website, learn more about uh, you know. Well, first, I need to 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 you know come up with a cool name for a boat and get it on the back and uh, get it on that RGB spectrum where I can just change it to whatever I'm feeling that day. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Kelly and Lisa, thank you so much for having me. I had a great time. Hey, thank Excellent. you, Chris. We appreciate it. We did too, and we hope you did out there as well. Um, as always, stay healthy, boat happy. We hope to see you at the next event, or we'll see you online. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.